Thank you very much for inviting me here to the meeting of the 20 years anniversary of the Fungna Kibang National Park World Heritage Status. The British cavers have been exploring caves in Vietnam now for over 33 years. We were very fortunate to be the first team ever to come and visit Vietnam. And the first place we ever visited in Vietnam was Quang Ben and the first cave we ever visited, we were lucky enough to visit Phong Nha Cave. This happened in 1990. Vietnam, and especially Quang Binh at that time, was a very, very poor province, and we were just invited to come and explore caves. We were very fortunate in that Hanoi University of Science, who are our sponsor, who helped us get to Vietnam. Two of the members, uh, Professor uh, Mi and Mr. Na, they both were from Quang Binh province and they'd heard of Phong Nha Cave. So that was the first cave they took us to in 1990. In that year, we explored 7,950 meters of new cave, excellent cave like Phong Nha Cave and Toi. And so we arranged a visit for the following year. Because we realized that the Phong Nha Kibang National Park was very important in terms of caves, we got a strong team together to come and continue our exploration purely in Quang Binh province in 1992. In that time, we explored the whole of Phong Nha Cave. We also explored all the way through Hang Toi um, to the next cave, Hang He in the next valley. We also uh, explored caves in Mimwa, such as Ruk Mon, for nearly three kilometers. And the big find that we had was the Hang Bon system. That was explored for over 15 kilometers in that year, and we explored over 13,000 meters of cave in 1992, all excellent river caves. It was a very exciting expedition, and we knew we were going to find some major caves in the area, so we all planned a return for 1994. We returned with a team for British cavers in 1994, again with the help of Hanoi University of Science. Uh, this was the most important year for cave exploration in the park up to date. We explored the giant caves of Hang En, and so we realised we had got some very important caves in this area. Hang En was by far the largest cave any of our members had ever seen before. So we knew where the water went in for Hang En, and knew where the water exited at Hang Cha, but we didn't know of any cave in between, we just were hoping there would be a nice big cave in between. It was an incredible successful expedition. We found so many caves on that trip. Nearly 30 kilometers of, of new cave was explored by the British team on that expedition. And this caves suggested that the area was one of the most important regions for caves in the world. In the late 90s, especially 97 and 99, our teams came back and explored some very important caves. We found a few caves re regarding the Nerk Mok system, so we realised there was a further system there with Nerk Mok. We knew there was a Hang Rom system, and we explored many of the upper regions in the Hang Rom system, comprising nearly 51 kilometres of caves, some fabulous caves up there. We then also found all the sinks that came into a cave called Hang Khe Ri. This was a when we discovered this and finished the exploration in 99, this was the longest and still is the longest cave in Vietnam at nearly 19 kilometers long. It is also the longest river cave in the world at present. Also, we found out that the water from Hang Khe Ri, which comes from near the Lao border, joins up with the water from Hang En. So two very large rivers join together and sink in a mass of boulders. This is where we were hoping to find a very big cave. And so the future expeditions were searching for this elusive cave between the Hang Von and Kheri rivers and where it exited in Hang Cha, which went on to Phong Nha Cave and part of that brilliant Phong Nha Cave system. Finally, in 2009, we were successful in discovering the cave that we've been looking for many years. Mr. Ho Kang, a local uh, farmer and jungle man, he took us to that cave and showed us the entrance to Hang Song Dong. Um, 
everybody knows about Hang Song Dong is so famous now, world famous as because it is the world's largest cave. And in 2009 and 2010, we did a lot of work in Sandong, exploring all the main passages in the cave and finally climbing what we call the Great Wall of Vietnam to exit Hang Song Dong. It was a fabulous discovery and it changed everything in regards to the living conditions of the people in Phong Nha. Because of its popularity, many film companies wanted to come and film, um, such as National Geographic and BBC. And then we started getting lots of foreign tourists coming into Phong Nha to come and see the beautiful Phong Nha Kabang National Park. So that was a great success and a lot of the media that followed it made Phong Nha to be very, very famous. But we continued to explore caves all the way up until the present day. We've explored now over 400 caves in the Phong Nha Kibang National Park. It is one of the most important, if not the most important, caving regions in the world. Uh, it's very well protected, it's well conserved, and we'd like to see it continue that way. And um, we're still exploring caves, we're finding many, many new caves, and there's lots of more discoveries to be had in the Phong Nha Kibang National Park, because we've only discovered perhaps 30% of the caves. British cavers throughout the last 33 years are very fortunate to explore some of the wonderful caves of the Phong Nha Kibang National Park, but we'd like to express our thanks to the other people who have been more than helpful in providing our expeditions. People like the Hanoi University of Science and especially people like the um, Huang Bing PPC and the National Parks have always supported us during our expeditions to explore new caves. However, the most important people have always been the local people who've helped us discover the vast majority of caves and helped us explore the vast majority of caves. Without this assistance, we would never have been able to explore the wonderful caves of the Phong Nha Kabang National Park.